Are you appreciating your expansion in understanding who you are? Are you beginning to fit into this world in a more confident way? Are you appreciating the weird ones around you? <laughs> Each of them weird in their own unique way. Are you at a place where it is easier for you to allow them in their demand for conditions their impossible uncontrollable attempt at control are you able to allow them to attempt the impossible while you sit back having given that up or are you still arm wrestling with them are you appreciating their perspective even when it is different from your own or does their perspective annoy you because it's just so wrong <laughs> it is wrong isn't it <laughs> well it's interesting because what you believe shows itself to you over and over again not because it has to not because it must not because it's inevitable and not because it's right it just shows itself to you what you believe shows itself to you simply because you believe it a belief is just a thought you keep thinking so as you continue to think this thought then law of attraction shores it up gathers evidence brings it right to you gives you proof of what you believe and the thing that is so interesting is that law of attraction is doing the same for the weird others with their weird beliefs so their beliefs are being proved to them too and then most humans spend most of their life once they sort of get a foothold out from under the thumb of adults who have been controlling them most set out to argue the perfection of their own beliefs against the imperfection of the others which is not what you planned to do at all you came to embrace the diversity because out of it comes your clarity of what you prefer it would be like artists arguing over the right color I picked red and you picked blue and I don't want to ever find you in the red can in other words you're limited to your belief and don't dabble do not explore into anything other than what you believe well that's not hard for most people to hear when you in your trying to control things speak to them because it's the way they think too let's just take our little finite cluster of beliefs and let's gather together in small groups who also believe as we do and try to recruit others into our ever-growing group so that we can protect ourselves from those other colors from those other ideas when what you really intended to do was to take some of all of it and mix it together into a beautiful tapestry that makes up your very unique experience there are not two of you who want the same who are the same who believe the same or who have come with identical intentions you are so diverse in your talent and in your ability to create in your uniqueness but you will not know your uniqueness until you allow the uniqueness in others we want you to applaud their differences with you their differences with you Esther would say to Jerry I would really like to talk about this because I really want to know what you think about it and Jerry would say I think you don't want to know what I think I think you want me to agree with what you think and Esther would say oh no 
No, I really want to know what you think as I guide you <laughs> gently and persistently to the right way of looking at it. <laughs> so we're not wanting to uproot your sense of who you are and what you want. We are not wanting to talk you into or out of anything, but we would like you to have more fun and more power and more clarity and more naturalness more what you intended when you decided to come more broadness more depth more expansion more fun more exhilaration we would like you to experience the whole of you and you can't do it when you push against any other you cannot be who you really are if you are pushing against anything that anyone else is no matter how wrong you deem it to be because you live in a universe that is vibrationally based is attraction based which means you get what you think about whether you want it or not so when you choose something in another that you do not want you include it in your tapestry because you activate the vibration of it within you and then it must come to you which is why you sometimes often every now and again pretty much always <laughs> it's why you rail against them because there is a part of you that recognizes that when you identify some unwanted thing in a society or in an individual or even in yourself and you push against it in an effort to make it go away that actually you're doing the opposite because you're including it in your vibration which means law of attraction is giving you more opportunity to examine it more fully you get what you think about you get what you focus upon your point of focus your broadcast equals your point of attraction so as you think about it wanted or not you activate it in your vibration and that it comes to you more and isn't that annoying wouldn't it have been nice if source energy law of attraction Abraham somebody anybody had just figured out what you want and only makes that available to you <laughs> I want to think about everything but I only want you to give me the things that you know I really want <laughs> sort it out for me and we say you have such freedom you have the freedom to give your attention to anything and when you give your attention to it you activate the vibration and when you do it more you activate a stronger vibration until you get true momentum going so law of attraction and momentum are the same word aren't they law of attraction the momentum it means the same thing when you give your attention to it it becomes part of your experience and then you say see I knew it was true I knew it was true I've proved it with my own life and we say you've proven it yes but you have created it yes you've created it you've created all of these things you're doing extremely well because there is so much about your life your specific unique individual life that is exactly as you want it to be but we know there are some things that you prefer to be different non-physical energy as it focuses upon you and among you and to you and through you knows everything that is important to you and is focused only upon those things that you are requesting those things that you have defined that you desire you have lived enough life you are in the perfect place you have defined your preferences your preferences are collected and law of attraction is responding to your preferences your inner being stands as an entity of attraction the source within you is focused upon what you have decided that you want and there is a powerful momentum flowing to this collective gathering of ideas and desires and needs and wishes and hopes and dreams that you've put into place and this vortex of attraction is a reality that is known by us and it is precisely and specifically about you and as we focus upon who you really are and we do it will be difficult for you to focus otherwise 
because we are so certain of who you are and if you will relax and allow yourself to be called to the reception of who you really are you will redefine your point of attraction with all who you know and those that you are attracting that you have not met yet change because of the vibrational shift that has taken place within you we are feeling such appreciation for your willingness to play with us because while the shift will take place in you and while benefit will come to you all that is benefits to we know what's in your vortex be playful about this don't work hard at it let your awareness for a few days be upon some of the things that we have collectively discovered think about that receptive mode and what it means and revel in it when you get there and don't worry about it when you're not but revel in it when you get there and don't worry about it when you're not and as you revel in it when you get there and you don't worry about it when you're not your sense of worthiness will come into full blossoming blooming in your experience you're just going to feel so good about who you are and where you are as you understand your own personal creative control of your own life experience as you feel the love that source has for you and the detailed intimacy of knowing where you are at any point in time you're going to feel not just fortunate or blessed or guided you're going to feel invincible you're going to feel sure of who you are you're going to begin to have this knowing of who you are and why you're here that sensation of right place right time is just going to be a common occurrence within you where you feel inspiration pouring through you and you see the beneficial results of it for yourself and the other to whom you're conveying as you experience this feeling of alignment and therefore worthiness your now is going to take on a richness like it never has before where a convergence of so many things that are important to you will all be happening at once not scattered sporadically on a trail where every now and again you get to have a high point but so many high points converging for you as you are feeling the wholeness of who you are so be playful about it there's nothing to study here you got it all you got it on many levels of your being you got it vibrationally you feel it viscerally you even have some understanding of it because when you get that vibrational basis of something then your words begin to translate it into things that are more reasoning that's what Esther is able to do that's all that's happening here she's receiving the same vibrations that so many of you are receiving and finding the vibrational word equivalent for them which then is reasoning for you but don't misunderstand the process of this don't try to think your way into alignment feel your way into alignment and then think the thoughts that come once you are in alignment there is great love and appreciation for you our perspective of you would please you if you could catch a glimpse of it take a look every now and again and feel how much we love you